Hi, welcome along to our AFTV Transfer Daily Special. Breaking news, Arsenal are set to appoint their brand new manager, the manager who's going to take over from Arsene Wenger, and it is not Mikel Arteta, it is Unai Emery, the ex-PSG manager. Um, spoke about it on the show this morning, uh, said you know that Emery had been heavily linked do you know what? I'm going to make a confession right now that I'm a bit of a chicken here, right? Because I got a little bit of news about this last night. And um, the person who was saying to me, they said, Robbie, this could happen. This is like a strong likelihood of this happening, right? And I wanted to go bold with it, but I bottled it because I was like, if I get it wrong, <laughs> if I go and say to people, it's going to happen and it don't, I'm going to look like a right idiot. So, spoke about it on a lot on the show this morning, and it looks like it's happening. The news now has been broken by David Ornstein, very respected um, journalist, BBC journalist, who gets a lot of information first hand from the club. And he's going with it, and he's saying that he's set to be appointed later on this week, and he will become the new manager of the club. And for me, it's a great appointment. Um, Mikel Arteta, of course, was the favourite to take over all last week and particularly over the weekend, you know, the, the betting was literally suspended on Mikel Arteta taking over. But it appears that the Arsenal board have had a change of heart. Depending on how you understand it, there, there, there's some people suggesting that Arteta wanted control over, you know, what the budget was going to be to buy players. Unai Emery apparently is willing to work with the new system that they've got at Arsenal, which is basically Sven Mislintat, Sanelli. They've got guys who are recruiting players and you've got to work with that system. A similar system to what most of the big clubs in Europe operate under. That is how Real Madrid operate. That is how Barcelona operate. PSG, somebody buys the players. You're the coach. It's your job to coach them. You can have an input into what you need. But ultimately, the players are bought by the club, the employees, which is like, you know, director of football or recruitment person or whatever. So apparently Arteta didn't want to go with that system. Emery is willing to go with that system. That's what the talk is. And now it looks like Emery will become the new manager of Arsenal Football Club. And I think... It's a fantastic appointment. He's a young manager. He's only 46 years of age. He's a winner. Um, when he was at Sevilla, he won the Europa League three consecutive times in a row. And remember, Sevilla are not one of the elite clubs in Europe, but they won it three times in a row. When he was, play when he was managing in Spain, he gave Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico a run for their money. He's known as a master technician can play brilliant football, can also shut it down if he has to and defend. And that has been a big problem at Arsenal. Also, he's a guy that's willing to work with a system in place like what Arsenal are put in place. So it looks like he is going to be the new manager. Um, one of the downsides is, is that he apparently doesn't speak much English. So he's going to have to get on the English learning thing very quick. But I think this is a fantastic appointment. Of course, he's been the manager of PSG for the past few seasons. Um, he's had a mixed time. Uh, initially went in, done brilliantly, won the league. Lost out to, of course, Monaco uh, last season. Brilliant Monaco team. But won it back this season. Has won the league this season. And um, brilliant by him. A lot of people would say you'd expect him to win the league, and you would with the players that they've got. I think where he has fallen short has been in the Champions League. Um, of course, the owners of PSG, they expect PSG to win it with the amount of money that they've invested in players like Neymar, Mbappe. They fell short again this season, losing to Real Madrid, and that kind of sealed his fate at PSG. Um, he wasn't sacked, by the way. He decided to leave, but who knows, they might have sacked him anyway because that's what they want to win but he became available and Arsenal of swoop now there are some people saying and suggesting that this looks like a bit of a panic by Arsenal you know uh, they've known Wenger's leaving for weeks 
They've had a process in place. They've been looking at Allegri. They've been looking at Arteta. And now all of a sudden they've gone for Emery. For me, I'm all right with this. I'm all right with this. Allegri was my first choice. He's a person I would have loved us to have got. Allegri or a Simeone. Simeone's not going anywhere. Allegri is not going anywhere either. It looks like Allegri is going to be staying at Juventus. So if you can't get those, you've got to go for the next best available manager. Luis Enrique, of course, I liked because I think that Arsenal need a big name manager. The Mikel Arteta suggestions, I just could not get excited about. No disrespect to the guy. He may be all the things that people are saying about him, talented, etc. But I couldn't get excited about Mikel Arteta because he's not managed before. I know he's a number two, and I said it on my show this morning. I've seen it before with number twos, like Paul Clement when he was at Real Madrid. It doesn't always work out that a number two becomes a great number one. But had a good reputation. But for me, at Arsenal, you need a manager who's going to come in who's got a lot of experience. But we want a young, dynamic manager. Now, this guy ticks all the boxes. He's young, dynamic. He's experienced. You know, as I said, you know, he, he, at PSG, look at the players he was managing. Neymar, Edison Cavani, Kylian Mbappe. He's managing all these guys. Thiago Silva. These are huge, you know, some of the V best players on the planet. He's had to manage them. He's had to manage the egos of these players, right? So he's not going to have any problem telling Ozil, you know, do this. He ain't going to have no problem telling Xhaka, do that. The other good thing about this guy is that he's got a record of bringing through young players. Another thing that Ivan Kazidis was saying that, listen, we want a guy that's going to be able to bring through young talent. He has a... Um, you know, a good record of bringing through young players, especially at Sevilla. So he ticks all the boxes. The only box really for me that he's not really ticking is the fact that he's not a fluent English speaker. But for me, he's ticking all the boxes. And remember, when PSG appointed him, he was rated as possibly one of the best managers in the world. He's one of the elite managers. He was nominated, um, I think was it 2016, he was nominated for Manager of the Year. You know, so, and that's along with guys like Simeone, etc. So, he's a top class elite manager. That's what we're getting. And Mikel Arteta, as I said, I would have backed him if he came in, but he just does not have that experience here. He's a guy setting out on a journey. And maybe at a later date, he could be the guy for Arsenal. But right now, at this minute, this job calls for somebody with experience. And this guy, even though he's a young man, he has experience. The other thing, as I said, I like about Emery is that he's a tactician. A modern day thinking tactical manager who will set up his team tactically and... We've needed that for so long at Arsenal. One of the things that Arsene Wenger was accused of is great football you play, but what, what's your tactics? What are your tactics when you go to play Man City? What's your tactics when you go away to Man United? What are your tactics when you come up against a team that just puts everybody behind the ball? I, I, I like this appointment. And as I said, the other box that he ticks is that he's willing to work with Arsenal's new structure, which, of course... For Arsenal is very important. So it's looking like it's going to be Unai Emery announced later on this week. Uh, I, for one, I'm happy about it. I'm happy. I think it wasn't the, you know, when I was being asked, who do I want? Everybody knows I said Allegri or a Simeone or a Enrique. I was going for these names. I don't know why I didn't think of Emery, but it's a great appointment. Who will be Emery's number two? There's a lot of talk that it could be Thierry Henry. So that could be an amazing number two if, if Thierry Henry comes in as a number two. A guy with Arsenal through and through, I think that would be good as well. But let's wait and see on that one. But I would like to know what you guys think about this appointment because, of course, it's going to be us who's going to have to get behind the team. It's us who's now got this manager as the person in charge of our great club. What do you guys think about the appointment of Unai Emery? I would like to know. 
leave it in the comments below. Are you happy? I'm going to do a poll. Are you happy with the appointment of Unai Emery? Please let us know. Thanks for watching Arsenal Fan TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget we're here every day with Transfer Daily. But it looks like we've got ourselves a new manager. After 22 years of the legendary Arsene Wenger in charge, a new era is about to begin by the looks of it under Unai Emery.